Have you made cranberry sauce from scratch before for Thanksgiving? Well, that's what I'm gonna do today. In case you haven't, uh, this is a super easy recipe. And once you try it, you will never probably open another can of cranberry sauce again because this is just so superior in terms of flavor and even nutrition. You wouldn't even wanna read the ingredients on this. It's just like not very good. And I'm also gonna be using urethritol as my sweetener as it doesn't tend to raise blood sugar levels. So this is very easy to do. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you all the details right after our chef joke. All right, here's our first chef joke. A second one will be coming a little bit later in the video. Why couldn't they find the dog's bone? Cranberried it. So here's our ingredients. I have some fresh cranberries, frozen blueberries, some vanilla extract. Here's some cinnamon. We're gonna use the zest and the juice from one orange. Here's our urethritol. This is the powdered version. And we'll need a cup of water. Now with the erythritol, I wanted to mention there are two different types. I have a raw cane sugar type here that's more granulated and that can work. But the downside is, and I've tried it, when I made cranberry sauce with that one, what happens is, is it tends to crystallize, which means after you cook it and you refrigerate it, let's say you make it ahead of time, like you might wanna do, uh, you go and you take it out and it has, it's crystallized and so you go to eat it and it's very crunchy not very appetizing. So I didn't like that part of it. The powdered version doesn't tend to do that. The workaround is, if you happen to have just this kind and you wanna use it, you can, but the workaround is when you take it out and you wanna you know, serve it, you're gonna to have to heat it up again and that will uh, make the crystals go away, right? So then you could just heat it up and then let it cool a little bit and be more like room temperature when you serve it which is absolutely fine, no problem with that. So we'll start off by pouring our cranberries into a colander, get them all in there, and uh, just kind of looking through them, picking out any bad ones that just don't look too good. And we're gonna run these under some water. So we're gonna take our cranberries and we're gonna pour them into a two quart saucepan here. To that, I'm gonna add the water and then I'm adding the erythritol and I'm using the powdered version. And I'm starting off with just a half a cup and I'm gonna test and see how tart the cranberries are. So you can, you're gonna use somewhere between a half a cup and one cup. And then we're gonna add some orange zest to that. And I'll do the zesting first because it's just much easier when you have a nice full orange and you're zesting. And then we'll take the juice from that and I'm gonna add it to the cranberry sauce. Then we'll add some cinnamon to that and then we'll cook it on the stove for about 10 minutes, you'll notice that the cranberries will actually pop. Be careful, don't wear anything white because you might get a splatter, but just you know, stand back a little bit, be aware that they will pop and you don't wanna get burnt. So once this comes to a boil and the sugar has dissolved, I'd go ahead and do a taste test and see if you need to add more. I had to add another half a cup. Our sauce here has been simmering for about 10 minutes now. You can see that you know it's broken down, it's thickening up. Now that this is done, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna just stir in a little bit of vanilla extract. That will highlight some of the flavor. Stir that in. Now I'm gonna add the blueberries. And since this is hot, they're not exactly hard, you know, frozen anymore just because they've been sitting out. And you can cook this a little bit. I just don't want the blueberries to disappear entirely. That's all, you know, and turn into, you know, get real mushy. And this whole sauce will thicken as it cools. While we're waiting for our cranberry sauce to cool, time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What did the cranberry say to the turkey? Nothing, cranberries can't talk. So here's our cranberry sauce. Check this out, it's nice and thick. It's getting thicker as it cools. I'm just gonna pour some here in a bowl and take a little taste. Just the right combination of tartness to sweetness. You get the hint of the blueberries. The blueberries are half as many as the cranberries. So you just get a hint of that flavor. A touch of cinnamon, the orange with the zest, Delicious, absolutely delicious, and really good when it's warm. If you're looking for more recipes to cook for Thanksgiving, I've got one for you, you gotta try, it's delicious. Click right over there, that's the link to my roasted green bean recipe. Delicious, guys, you're gonna love it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button for me. It really helps me out. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.